And this time we have GV Nathan. And it's no longer GV Nathan, we're talking about a doctor. Uh, somebody who just completed a degree, a doctoral degree in uh, education. And we are focusing very specifically on curriculum development. Welcome, Dr. Nathan. Thank you, sir. Tell us, congratulations for your degree. Thank you. Uh, tell me, how was that at Atlantic International University? My experience with the uh, AIU was fantastic because I was able to do a lot of things through the technology, through e-communications. I must say that the, administ the admission arrangements was really super at the start. That impressed me. Then I went on with the faculty, with my assignments, the topic. But what I like is the flexibility which is extended to students like me who decide which are the areas that I want to polish. And PhD research gave me that opportunity to choose my subjects that helps me to further enhance my final thesis in curriculum development in Singapore. Let's now touch on a topic that would be at a premium for everybody in the world of education and again across the entire globe. Curriculum development is not an easy topic. How do you go about that? What is it that you emphasize when you are completing a project of curriculum development? Now, when we are considering any form of curricular development, I think one of the important factor for Institute of Learning like universities or Polytechnic is for them to engage the stakeholders because the various stakeholders like the Employers Federation, like the labor unions, uh, even for that matter, the family and the business chambers, they would be able to give us some of the relevant inputs that is required by the industry and we can then fine-tune some of this to help graduates to develop a set of skills which can be relevant to their business and their lifelong learning. So that the curriculum that we develop is useful for personal development in lifelong learning as well as in the business itself. I know Singapore, your country, is at the forefront of everything connected to both education and technology in general. So uh, how do you do when it comes to uh, working with uh, children nowadays? How are children in Singapore and how is your degree going to help in that area? I teach in the uh, university program and a lot of kids in Singapore in fact are very uh, uh, technology driven because they are all technology driven so the curriculum must tailor to allow technological intervention as part of their pedagogical and at the same time create things like problem solving where what they learn, what they know, do not underestimate them. They may have about 40-50% of some uh, knowledge outside and how it can be brought into the classroom in an interactive manner that they can learn the theoretical part linking to the experience. What would you tell so many other people, other countries around the world who do not have that kind of privilege, how can they cope with the obstacles, the difficulties they have to deal with in order to provide a sound, practical education? This morning I was attending the AIU conference and it was good that there was a large number of graduates from the uh, uh, African state of nations and many of them were sharing some of the challenges that I observed. And I wanted to share one of the success story of Singapore for the nations to reconsider. In going forward, engaging the stakeholders like the political leaders, like the business leaders, and in fact, even the education faculty members, so that they are able to see the need for the success of the country and what role can the political leaders play to facilitate that movement for the education ministry to come up with programs that will make it relevant to them and that at the same time you can lower the poverty rate by increasing the skill level of the population. So there's a need to study the level of skills in these countries and the stakeholders can play governmental, non-governmental. 
I must say that I want to thank uh, AIU for giving me this opportunity. One thing that I saw when I came here, I was reading the newspapers, that United States and, Max and, and Mexico having all this kind of uh, problem. But when I went for the tour, the beauty of the Atlantic Ocean and the beauty of the Gulf of Mexico, they are all in harmony. Yes. The people that makes the difference. Thank you very much. Very, very interesting. Congratulations again <laughs> you, for your thank, doctorate degree. Thank you, sir.